A bunch of Asian TikTokers who were working for Google just got laid off along with thousands of other employees. And I guess the internet's reaction is not what you think. Yeah, this is going super viral right now, not just because Google laid off 6% of its global workforce, but the internet comments are coming through savage mm. because I guess some people were saying that, you know, there was a few day in the life TikTokers, a lot of whom were Asian, they were showing off the perks and the amenities of working at the Google offices, basically flexing on people. You know, obviously, I'm sure they would not say that they were trying to achieve that, but that's what happened. And it sort of turned the tide in the internet comment section against the Googlers who got fired. Yeah, I guess one of the main questions is, should you feel bad for these Google employees in this particular situation? And what does this say about social media representation of the entire company? Because there's a lot of people who worked at Google who still work at Google. Um, so we're gonna be talking about all of that, guys. Uh, so please hit that like button right now, turn on your notifications and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Let's get into it. All right, the first main reaction actually, uh, Andrew, is people happy that these people got laid off. Now, now, I don't know if they're happy that all 6% got laid off, but perhaps there is a stereotype based off TikTok that the people who got laid off were not doing any work and they were just enjoying the free amenities, yeah. breakfast, lunch, yeah. endless lattes, massages all day. By the way, I'm not saying that's true. That was the perception. Right. And again, listen, guys, I, I don't think anybody's happy that people are unemployed now. I don't think it's good for the economy. It's not good for everybody. You know, ideally you want as many people working as possible. That's, you know, so I feel bad for that. But I will admit that that was the representation of life at Google. Like, I'm not saying we all know that not every Googler lives like that. Not everybody's going in, hey, I'm eating this lunch. Okay, I'm going to take this meeting for 15 minutes and then I'm going to sit here and then I'm going to sit in this massage chair and I'm going to eat another food. I'm going to get this expensive snack where it costs the company maybe like $300 in perks per day per uh, employee, right? right. Not I mean, everybody's like that. Here are some of the comments, Andrew. A day full of lattes, eating free meals and snacks, going out for walks and brainstorming session. Sure, an honest full days of work in tech, huh? Uh, and somebody else said, spend six hours playing with their dog and also shows up after 10. Why did I get laid off? Hmm. Yeah, basically people are assuming that a lot of the positions that got laid off were these useless or non-core positions, right? And it kind of reminds people of when Elon Musk bought Twitter and just fired a whole bunch of people. No, he fired half the people off the rip. Yeah. That... And by the way, that was still controversial, not supporting it or not, none supporting it, but companies... They do got to make money. Moving on to number two, Andrew. I guess that was point number two. Someone said, whoa, it's capitalism. Welcome to capitalism. Because, uh, you know, obviously big tech has been a, in a historic 15 to 10 year bull run. And a lot of things in a bull run, you cannot do in a bear market. Yeah. I mean, basically, uh, Sundar Pichai, who is the CEO of Google and obviously had to lay off and, and make the call to lay off a bunch of people. And, uh, he basically said, over the past two years, we've seen periods of dramatic growth. To match and fuel that growth, we hired from for a different economic reality than the one we face today. Basically, what he's saying is like, listen, guys, when we were growing and the market was up and the and, and it was all good, we were hiring a lot of people. Everybody, More masseuses. Everybody was loving everybody it. Everybody get a masseuse. No, everybody, it, was a get part, a masseuse. it was a party every day. And then it birthed the TikTokers, right, who are like, oh, my gosh, life at Google is so great. And then, which is how they portrayed it, by the way, um... And then now he's like, yo, listen, stuff, stuff done changed, guys. And I'm right. sorry. And it's not the same. So we got to let go. Now, they still hired, like, I believe around 20% in the past three years. So they hired a bunch. And then they just let go 6% very quickly. So they still kept a lot of the people. But yeah, there's still a higher employee headcount versus, like, 2019. Right. But... In the past three years, yeah, yeah they're gonna I, cut a lot of people who got hired since 2019. I'm not gonna lie, six percent right off the rip very quickly in one day is a lot. It's 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 a it's a lot. People. Yeah, but you know the entry level jobs at these fan companies, they are generally starting in the six figures, at least 100k to off the rip. But basically, a lot of people said, "Hey guys, I noticed that the majority." of the layoffs actually came from non-core engineering positions. So you did not see any hardcore data scientists wow. announced that they got uh, kicked out and you didn't see any hardcore master coders get kicked out. I wonder why that is. Is it because there were positions that were bloated? Uh, yeah, so this is based off of a comment and uh, multiple comments were like this where people were looking at their LinkedIn timeline, their Facebook timeline, and that's what they saw. Obviously there's no I don't think there's an official stat. Google's not going to reveal to us the amount of positions of what department they let go, right? Right. The hardcore nerds, I kept them because they're already <laughs> building the product and making it uh, work. 
But but they weren't all new employees. There was people who came out and said, yo, listen, I worked 20 years uh, at Google or I was a software engineer management in management right? And I just got let go really quickly too. So it's not all these new young uh, Gen Z, uh, even millennial kids who are used to this fluffy lifestyle. Like these were people, some of them were still people who had given their life to Google or was, you know, spending the last couple decades there. Someone said, you know, this is why you need a union. Even at the big tank companies, you need a union. And other people were like, listen guys, we're not working on the docks in 1975, the tech is not going to unionize. Listen, when you get the perks like Google, you're no, not going to get that, the union. Those perks are basically like that's the union. Don't loon, don't you do your, this is it. Yeah, yeah. And and by the way, guys, the layoffs of Google. It wasn't just Google. It was a lot of big tech companies whose maybe perks weren't quite on the level of Google. No, I've been to the Facebook offices. I've been to the Google offices. Let me tell you this: Google's perks are even far beyond Facebook. They're top notch. Yeah, yeah, you can get like a haircut. Yeah, and and we're saying that there's a lot of other tech companies will pop up this image here that let a lot of people go that didn't have the perks like Google. So not everybody was this spoiled Googler, okay? But anyways, uh, David, what's your personal takeaway? Kind of wrapping this all up. Like, is the internet being just super unfair right now? Is it kind of like always taking the most negative uh, uh, perspective on things? It is, but I hate that it had to be against like the Asian women. You know, I think Asian women disproportionately were represented in the entry-level Fang hiring over the past three years. It wouldn't shock me because obviously a lot of Asians, we go into tech too. So then who also is going to make a TikTok? TikTok is designed for young women. So you, you have the convergence of like entry-level tech with TikTok. Of course, all the people doing day-in-the-life videos are going to be young Asian women or like disproportionately. So I hate that it had to be them, but yeah. You know, it probably did create a, a larger macro tide of sentiment against the Googlers. Yeah, and I think that obviously there are a ton of very smart, very hardworking people who are clearly, their jobs are very difficult and they're working long hours for Google, I'm sure. But you know, they're not being represented on TikTok. They don't make the TikToks. I don't know, maybe Google- TikTok is like, you have to be kind of good looking to be on TikTok. You gotta be fun. People it's, wanna gotta listen to you. And you also kind of have to have the internal desire for like some recognition or clout. And, and, and you know what? This was months back or like the last year when I did watch people do the day in the life of any job, not just Google, of any of their marketing jobs. And the way that people would make it sound was so easy. And I'm like, but I'm like, don't you want to show people you're working hard? I'm sure you did some work. You must have did some work. So so why don't you let us know what the work was versus just only showing us the But maybe good they side. can't talk about work projects. Right. Maybe not. I maybe not. But I guess what we're talking about is social media representation and how it can help sway the public opinion. Now maybe it does not matter what the public says. Maybe these are just internet comments from mostly dudes who work in other industries, not Google, right? Jealous, bitter, yeah, right. mad, envious. Hey, mate, that's a cute girl on TikTok, guys on the internet, those are sworn enemies, okay? We all know this, right? So I'm saying maybe they're just being a little bitter and whatever. So it doesn't matter what they say. However, we're just saying that this is the age of social media and this is the social media representation of the Google company. Yeah, and I think it is a larger talk about media representation because now you have a small group of TikTokers who may or may not have done real work I'm assuming they at least did some, right? But they've turned the entire tide against 6%, uh, 12,000 people who got laid off now. Well, you know, I'm sure that... You know, if you have Google on your resume, trust me, it's way easier yeah. to get another job. But trust me, I don't think Sundar Pichai was looking at the public opinion on who to fire. He wasn't like, oh, yeah, like, uh, oh, everybody thinks these like TikTokers are like, you know, wasting time. I'm going to let them go first, right? He's going to look at the bottom line, look at the money reasons. And as a company, as a corporation, that's their job. So this is America. It is true that this is capitalism, right? This is how things work. You make a lot of money. Everybody's happy. Economy goes down. Ah, oh, shoot. We got to let people go. Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Like I said, if you guys need a job, fumbroshr at gmail.com. We are hiring, obviously, if you have media skills. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of these big tech layoffs. They did impact a lot of Asians. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.